So when did the decision happen to move the basketball and volleyball programs to the Lady Beaverbrook Gym? Well, we've been looking at it for a while because obviously the Lady Beaverbrook Gymnasium with the UMB programs moving to the Curry Center is that we were looking to have a better fan experience. So we've been looking at it for a, a, a period of time and then finally UMB approached us last week uh, just before our first home openers and uh, discuss with us, to discuss with us whether we wanted to play in the gym there. So, and we took advantage of it and, and that's well, now where we're going to call our home. And how long has this process been in the works? Well, I think it was first identified when UMB's varsity programs moved to the Curry Center, which would have been at the, for yeah. the start of the 2011-2012 campaign. Um, so that's the first identification process, and I think that it was just a little too quick in terms of the transition period. So we looked at it during the summer of 2012, and uh, so that there was still some concerns on on UNB for their programming and, and what they provide at that gym and and finally just uh, at the I guess at the eleventh hour we, we had finally that UNB was was uh, very uh, open to the fact of our programs moving down the LB gym. So what are the school's plans to make it feel like a home gym? Because right now it's mostly decked up in UMB stuff and everything like that. Is there any plans for that? Or? Well, I know that we've brought some signage down to the LB gym that says, Welcome to St. Thomas. And we have at the scorekeeper's table, we'll have a Go Tommy's banner. So those are some of the little things that we can do. And hopefully in partnership with UMB that we'll be able to uh, promote our past championship banners. We do understand that it is a University of New Brunswick building, so there's a lot of legacy that's been left there, so we, we are not looking to remove any type of their, uh, their signage, obviously, and, uh, and so we're, we're looking at partnering with them to find out what we can do, and we're, we're still in the early stages of that. We, we wanted to, first of all, get our games down there to get our fan experience and you know, a, a great venue. So now that you are officially moved down to the Lady Beaverbrook Gym, what's going, you spoke a little bit earlier about the banners, you know, so what's going to happen to, to the South Gym, the actual gym, and the banners that are all up there? Well, I think because a lot of our history is, is up at the South Gym for the past amount of years, is that uh, those banners, I believe, should be kept up there. So we'll leave the banners at the South Gym, and then we'll hopefully at some point leave a legacy, have a legacy piece at the Lady Beer Gymnasium that showcases all of the history that we've had at the South Gym. So is this an official long-term move or is this just a trial run right now? This is an official long-term move. I, you know, with our home openers this past weekend, as well as the ACAA Volleyball Championships that we hosted and the ACAA Basketball Championships that we'll be hosting in March of 2013, that this is a great venue. We, that venue holds 1,200 people, so we'll be able to host a lot of fans for some of our major events. And uh, I, there's still some, uh, some details that we still need to work out in terms of uh, game times and things like that, but it's just a matter of this is a permanent long-term move. All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time out with us today, and hopefully uh, everything is successful with the rest of the season.